Guys, it's Tuesday and today we have a day on which we're going to record some videos. What kind of videos? Well, join us for today's episode of Behind Closed Doors. Oh yeah, remember that whole restyling thing that Nadine and Anna Week and I were working on? Today's the first time I'm gonna show that in a video. So very excited about it. I think it looks nice. Anna Week is setting up everything for the video shoot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show a new table from Tether Tools. And in the back, there will be all these strobes, so they will act as a backdrop. And of course, put some fancy lighting on it, and there we go. Okay, so we're now working on lighting the background, and it looks weird at the moment, but I'm using a Letgo Fresnel, and the cool thing about the Fresnel is that you can actually set it up the way that you want it with the light beam, so you can make the light beam small or wider, just by turning the dial. And I want some of the strobes in from the back, so as you can see now, I'm actually narrowing the beam and now opening it up a little bit and now from this side it looks really weird but we're actually gonna film from this side and now it's a little bit overexposed because of this camera but as you can see this gives you a little bit more three-dimensionality in the background and we still have to move the strokes around a little bit to make it more interesting but we're getting there and we is putting the monitor up because I will be standing over here with the new Tether Tools product and this is a really cool stand with wheels and it's, it's absolutely awesome. So we want to monitor the picture of course before we shoot and we're going to use one Fresnel also from Letgo on me. Okay we're going to film this segment with the A6500 with the 24-70G Master so that means that I'm now actually filming with my A7R2 and somehow my microphone input isn't working so I'm using the on-camera mics so that's why the audio quality is a little bit less at the moment but well as long as you can hear me right okay we're in the middle of recording and this is ladies and gentlemen the new Tether Tools product this is the rock solid low boy roller hey what's in the name we set it up with Anna Week's laptop and Anna Week's over there if you can see her in the dark and we're now actually gonna do the close-up. So we did one set close-up of me, explaining the product, one set full body, explaining the product, and now we're gonna do some close-ups. And Anna is actually picking up some extra material, like an extra tray, to show what you can connect to the rock solid. And Anna Week is working very hard now. And there we go. And then, of course, it's time to do the second take with close-ups. Okay, setting everything up for the second video. And the second video is actually about a really cool strap which we got from the Graven Partners a while ago. And it's for two cameras. So that's going to be the second video for today. Of course, the first video was also in Dutch. So for Tether Tools, we did an English version and a Dutch version. But now, up for the strap. Second product for today is actually the Carry Speed Double Pro MK2. What's in a name? And it's a big harness that you can actually use. Well, it's not really big, but it's, well, it's bigger than a Black Rabbit strap, for example. And this you can actually use for two cameras, and it has a lot of safety options. So we're going to use Anaweek as a model. She's now actually setting up the lighting. And then we're going to do a proper review of this one. And it's always difficult to do a review for a product like a camera strap, because, well, what can you tell about a camera strap? Now, the cool thing about this one is that there's a lot of extra safety options. Like, for example, the connectors are really sturdy. You have extra connectors for, let me see where it is, for longer lenses. So it's, it's a really cool product. And we're going to film that in a moment. And we're just already setting up the lighting. So I have to help her out. And done with the video for the strap. And I really like that strap. There's a lot of security in that strap. And you know, one of the things that I hate about straps is that although the camera feels secure, you always have that sense of maybe it will fall down. And that really, really annoys me. And with this strap, there are so many security measures. Every, for example, every buckle you have to 
press three times otherwise it won't open and all the plates are connected by a twist and move motion so it's let me put it this way if you drop your camera from this strap yeah you have a real problem because well you have three security measures and if you mess them all up don't even go there <laughs> it's almost impossible so it's a really really secure solution and that's what i love about straps you really have to have that sense of don't think about the camera just move around and do your work and this strap absolutely great i'm going to show you which one it is so if you're interested before the video is out because that will take a few days it's this one from carry speed the double pro mk2 so if you're into the market for a two camera strap this is the one Okay, so now I'm making backups to the Drobos and after that to our Synology NASAs which are over there and then off to home to edit the vlog for you guys. Okay, now I was really looking forward to a bike ride and well, you guys know I'm not made of sugar, right? But to be totally honest, yeah, I don't think we're gonna drive my bike today. I don't even think I'm going home at the moment. I'm just gonna wait this out. Wow. And what just came into the mail in a week? It's our favorite snack food. Body and fit, protein bars. Yes, love them. Okay, it's pretty safe to go home now. It's still raining, so I won't do any biking. So probably, well, it's gonna be rowing because I like to do elliptical or rowing or power, of course and biking but with this weather no biking so it's going to be rowing because i try to do something every single day because we're now preparing for our trip to denmark so that means that i have a lot of free time so this morning we did the videos and that actually means that the afternoon i'm free and then tonight we have a photo shoot with a client so and because it's raining water it's going to be rowing Now the idea was to row what I normally do, eight and a half kilometers, but I actually went for 10k and it was okay. It's 39.28, so that's a relatively good pace because I'm rowing actually at level six. So on this machine, that's actually pretty high. So I'm pretty pleased taking a shower and then getting ready for the photo shoot tonight. Now look what we got in the mail. Isn't that awesome combining cameras with my other passion? Now while I was editing the vlog, Anawik is actually already editing the Tether Tools video. How is it going Anawik? Great, it's almost done. Okay, so it's almost done, so we hope to upload something in the coming days. Okay, on the way to the studio, and I'm very afraid because I already hear the weather. And, yep indeed, rain. Luckily for us, it's only a small walk to the studio. But man, do I hate rain. I like cold. Hot is okay, but rain, that's terrible. And in the Netherlands, yeah, we have a lot of rain, even in summer. Done with the photo shoot. I, I really wanted to show you something, but what I didn't realize is this was actually a gift for the parents. So I couldn't film during the photo shoot for the vlog because then the vlog would be online and the family actually follows my vlog, so yeah, so if you're watching, you're in for a big surprise. It's gonna be in a few days. actually going home it's around nine o'clock and that means that we're now closing off the vlog i'm going to edit the vlog tomorrow for you guys and upload it thank you so very much for watching and of course subscribe to our channel leave comments below and smash that like button we really like that and of course if you have any questions just leave them below thank you so very much for watching guys and see you again on friday for the workshop glamour with ingrid go figure now it's dry do you believe it, Anna Week? Yes, finally!
it's not really summer, right? It's way too windy and way too nip wet. And next week we're gonna go to Denmark, so let's hope that it's a little bit nicer weather then.